Hello and welcome to this video initiative brought to you by A.A. Shah's IS Institute. Today we will be discussing about corals and coral bleaching. This forms a very important topic in ecology and environment. So the first thing that we would like to know is that what are corals? So corals are soft bodied animals which secrete calcareous shells. Now these are animals belonging to the phylum Cylindrata in the animal kingdom. What is the difference between a coral and a coral reef? Coral reef is a physical feature that is formed by cementing together of millions of these calcareous skeletons that are secreted by corals. So in this picture here you can see a soft bodied coral with the mouth and tentacles etc. So now most of these corals they live in symbiosis with an algae called, commonly called as zooxanthellae. First of all let's understand that what is symbiotic relationship. A symbiotic relationship is one where both the species benefit from the relationship. So how do these two species benefit? The coral provides the host body for these algae. That means these algae live within the tissue of these corals. But in return, these algae provide food by the process of photosynthesis to these corals. Now in India, where are these corals formed? There is a coral reef ecosystem in Kerala coast, Goa coast, in Gulf of Kutch, in Gulf of Mannar, in Park Bay, in Lakshadweep Islands and in Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Now what are the conditions that are needed for the survival and healthy life of these corals? So the first thing that they need is sunlight. We just discussed that Corals get their food from zooxanthellae algae which in turn produce it with the process of photosynthesis. Now photosynthesis cannot happen without sunlight. So sunlight is very important for the survival of corals. That is why they are found only in the depth of water till where sunlight can penetrate which is up to about 50 meters. Then obviously sunlight can penetrate in clean clear waters. So clean and clear waters are required. They, jo they are generally found in warm tropical waters from 20 to 32 degrees Celsius and corals only survive in salt water that is in marine environments. Having discussed that we need to discuss something new here that not all corals are warm water corals. Some of them are also cold water corals. Now these cold water corals they don't have a symbiotic relationship with algae. They feed on capturing food particles from the surrounding water. They are much bigger than the tropical corals. The biggest reef cold water coral that has been discovered is from Norway. Now coming to the next topic that is what is coral bleaching. So coral bleaching is the process wherein the algae leaves the coral polyp. So in this diagram you will see the first image shows a healthy coral where algae the green portion is in symbiosis and living with the orange coral polyp. When it is a stressed coral some algae leaves the coral while some of it is still there. Then it becomes a bleached coral wherein all the algae leaves this coral. Now this bleached coral is without its major source of food that is the photosynthesis done by algae. So now this coral can die. Now when the coral is healthy it's, it has varied colors yellow, blue, red, green but after the coral is bleached it generally has very pale colors. Now what are the reasons for coral bleaching? The first and foremost region is, reason is change in ocean temperature. Uh, increase or decrease below the temperature limits can cause coral bleaching. A lot of pollution runoffs can cause coral uh, bleaching. Over exposure to sunlight can cause coral bleaching. Extremely low tides can expose these corals to wind and storms which can also co cause coral bleaching. I hope this lecture was helpful to you all. Thank you so much.